touching Melody Lane With me you're gonna have a great crafting time Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Glenda, Lori, Lena, Penny, Ron, Diane, Sandy, Dawn, Robin, Teresa, Laura, Jeannie, Leticia, Leilani, Bibi, Monica, Dana, Angela, Susan, Becky, Joanne, Tammy, Julia, Tammy, Judy, Vivian, Sherry, Jerry Lynn, Sherilyn, Darlene, Terry, Ramona, Mary, Kelly, Cindy, Linda, Kiona, Erica, Elizabeth, Brenda, Jean, Sonia, Carla, Deborah, Roxanne, Connie, Janet, and Carrie. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Good morning. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. We do this every Tuesday at noon. We usually craft, usually live, and Thursdays at 8 p.m. and Saturdays at 11 a.m. we do Cricut Design Space classes. Those are all Eastern times, so you can catch me three times a week. Sometimes there's more videos, like I released one Sunday, announcing the new Cricut Easy Press Mini. Um, yeah, put all your questions in caps. I have some moderators who are going to try to help me with questions and chat. And we are live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. And I see the Restream bot in YouTube, who's also moving my Facebook chat over to YouTube. So if you're on YouTube, you can see them all. Um, you might be able to see them on Facebook. I don't know. Uh, so let's get started. I wasn't planning on doing this video. I was planning on just crafting, but there were so many people who said that they're, uh, they have a small iron, like this one. They have a $12 iron they got from Amazon and that it would work just as good as the new Cricut Easy Press Mini. So I thought, well, they don't have the Cricut Easy Press Mini, so they're, they don't know that. You don't know it until you've used it to compare them. So I thought, well... I'll compare them. I did a little test yesterday with Infusible Ink, and I'm gonna get to all that. Um, this is one I bought two years ago. I used it once, and it was a big decision whether I kept it or threw it away, and I just kept it because I didn't have anything smaller. And then on Facebook, a lot of people were saying that they have this one and they really like it. So I thought, I went out and bought this one from Joann's yesterday. And uh, we're gonna try this. I was playing with it a little bit yesterday. You'll see those results. And <laughs> I've prepared everything except for the t-shirt. Callie, can you find me that t-shirt that we're gonna do today? And I'll show you everything we've done um, yesterday. And then we're gonna do some things today. And we're gonna compare the three. It's the one that I've, the very first one that we've done lots of stuff to. Yeah, that one. Thank you. Um, so, oh, I'm getting your questions. I wanna see those. And, okay, I wanna compare these. First, I have a list of things I thought we could compare. If I miss anything, let me know what you want me to compare. Okay, oh, the price. You know what? Um, that's a great idea. I don't even have the price included. Uh, the price of the Cricut Easy Press Mini manufactured suggested retail price is $69.99. Um, these were high, they were, 40 or some dollars at Joann's, but they had a sale. And then on Amazon, it's only like 26 maybe. And then this one, I think I paid like $35 for it at Joann's. Um, but right now it's on Amazon for $12.99. So if you're on a budget, I don't, wait till you see the results. Uh, there is an affiliate link for each one of these. 
it doesn't matter to me which one you buy. But um, so we're going to compare them and then you can decide for yourself what you want to get. And like it, this one is brand new. It's $69.99. Uh, but if you are a Cricut person or have ever purchased anything from Cricut, you know that everything goes on sale. And if you have Cricut access, you get an additional 10% off, even the sale price. Okay, so I wanted to look at the size of all of these because some people don't know, you know, looking at this in a picture like this, you can't see the size real well. So this one has the biggest size. This one also has a removable cord and I hate this cord. So I'm going to remove it for now. Um, so here's the size. This one is pretty big. This one I would say is tiny. And this is the medium one. Um, so there's the sizes. Which one is your favorite size? We need to call these something. This could be the red one, blue one, and Cricut. This one does is this one wins for size if size matters. Okay, let me show you what I did yesterday. So this is the Cricut one and I this swatch here is from the infusible ink so every box of infusible ink you get and it's also this black infusible ink every box of this you get comes with a little swatch like this so I have some extra swatches because I don't use that every time I use this because I, I have many so I don't need to test it every time so this one is this sitting on infusible ink for two minutes it's not a burn mark it's the actual ink and I'll show you that in a minute and then this one and it did this I did this for two minutes I did them all for the same timing and no pressure I did not even I just set it on there and took my hands off this one I had to kind of hold like it was it's I kind of think this one's awkward uh, this one does have other settings, but so that's that one. Now, if you say this one wins for size, my question is, is it worth it? Because the only heat is right in here, and that heat is not anywhere near as dark as this, even in the center. This one, I would say, wins way over this one. So this one, I think, wins because it's bigger, but it's not. I'm, I'm going to have to say size doesn't matter on this one because, well, just look for yourself. I, so in this video, we're going to do this live. I'm showing you what I did yesterday, but we're going to do it again so you can see exactly what i'm doing i also have a side view so you can see that okay um and okay now thickness of plate so this one is kind of i don't know if these are yeah this red one is not as thick as the blue one can you guys see see that so this one's thicker than that one and then the easy press is thicker than this one so that means it would hold the heat longer and help it be more of an even heat and cord length okay like I said, this one, it has a detachable cord. Now, some of you might need a really long cord. So if you need a really long cord, the cord length is important for you to be long. 
Some don't need a long cord for, so the shorter length will come in handy. This one, this, I think this is like any, I don't know if this, this is an attachment. I think you can use for anything, other things. Like if I were going to throw this iron away, I'd probably keep this cord because I know I've seen things with that attachment in it. Um, so this cord is eight inches long. No, eight feet long, sorry. <laughs> this cord is eight feet long. It's really long. So that's the cord for that. I, I measured this on this mat. And this one is nine feet long. So this one has a really long cord. And then the Easy Press Mini, the cord is only six feet long. But I plug these into, into uh, right here on my desk, so I don't need a long cord. And actually, I've tripped over this, this one two times in the last two days. So I'm like, oh man, totally tripped it over. I actually tripped over it one time and it fell on the floor and it broke. This, I did get it back on, so I guess I didn't break it, I fixed it. This little thing popped off, this little white piece. And someone has said, but you compared, when they saw my comparison of these two on Facebook, you compared a steam iron to a not steam iron. And I didn't. This is not a steam iron. These holes, I think, are here. So it lets the heat out so it doesn't melt the plastic. You can see inside there. Uh, you don't want to put water in there because, I mean, I see wires and screws and you can see the heating element is only like right here. Like you can see where it heats up it doesn't even get hot enough to do any infusible ink at all. Um, so that's that. This is, I was really worried about this plastic melting. I don't know if it would. Um, what was it? Oh, and then I realized it doesn't get hot enough to melt. It, there's, it won't, even though there's plastic almost right up to the plate. I don't know, I can't tell what all that is. And then this housing, let me show you, this has uh, different options. You can turn this, there's no directions for this. I was trying to turn this and see what these do and I'm like, well that one doesn't even move at all. It does have options so you can do it like this or like this. And to be honest, I thought this was really awkward, like, because I wasn't, at, this is how it comes, and that's how I first did it. I'm like, how do you even get any pressure? I don't know, I just found it awkward. And to set it down, you have to you use this so it sits, and it's not even sitting all the way down. I have my other camera to show you, too. Um... There's a link to all of the irons in the description of the video on YouTube and Facebook. Here, let me turn this other camera on. Like, it, this doesn't even set down on the thing because of the cord. Um... And it's almost, this one especially, it's almost like you have to worry about the cord. Let me show you how this one sits up because you would have it plugged in. So that sits like that. And the first time I did it, I didn't, it's sitting pretty well now, but it wasn't the first time. I think I had to move the cord around to get it to sit up. So it's only sitting on these little plastic things. And if you were to bump it or hit this, see, look, I just touching the cord. Oh, my hand's in the way of that camera. And it almost fell over. So you want to be careful with that. And, okay, 
I think I went over everything in that one. Then we have the Easy Press. This has a really nice stand. If you have another Easy Press, you know that this is not going to melt. This is um, the same materials that the Big Easy Presses are made out of, except for this has an extra coating, and we'll get to that later. Um, and you don't have to worry about putting this down anywhere. It sits right inside the little thing there. Oh, that's in front of this camera. So you use it to press it. You don't have to worry about putting a lot of pressure. Even though this is small, I did this one with no pressure at all. I just let it sit there. And then you can just pick it up and put it there. And you have no worries about burnings or anything. Um, no, these are not plugged in yet. Uh, I will plug them in. Okay, now... Okay, and I talked about... Come, I think this one, for me, is the most comfortable. If you do want to put pressure on, you want to put your hand over the whole thing. And I will tell you why. Let me see. Okay, this is one. I was playing... Okay, I did a test on this one. And it was this one. And I didn't bother to do it again. We'll do it again today live. But I didn't bother to even play it wasn't worth it um but i did i wanted to test these two again the cricket one of course is the bigger one and this one and this i was following the directions and i did it for 75 seconds with an infusible ink sheet on a t-shirt which is this is the t-shirt material i think this is the one because it you flip it over so it's mirrored kind of and to be honest, I thought, oh, I didn't get it quite good on that point. So I'm like, I better test this again and make sure that's right. And what I realized when I did that, I was holding it here. See where my hand is? And so I was putting more pressure here. This one actually turned out better with absolutely no pressure. But I thought, no, you know what? It says light pressure, so I want to do exactly what it says. So then I did it again. And this is the one I did again. And I held it more on top. So you can see it didn't get all the ink here. It's just a little bit lighter here. And this one didn't either. So I thought, well, let me see if I can even out the pressure on this one. This is more difficult to get even pressure because of the handle. I, I don't really like it. Um, so then I did it again. I thought, well, let, let's practice and see the best way to do this. So then I put my hand over the whole thing and was pushing down and I was trying to do more even heat with this one. This one turned out a little bit better also. It's still a little light right in the center, which I thought was strange, but um, so, do we have any questions on this so far? Does everybody understand that this is black infusible ink and this is what it looks like in the sheets? And then with infusible ink, when you put them on the material, on the correct material, it turns out really, really vibrant. These are not burn marks. I've posted these and some people thought they were burn marks. They're just the shape of the iron. Um, Connie says maybe the blue would be good for quilt pressing seams. It, some people say they use it for that, but let me show you something else. Um, let me show you how smooth it runs on the fabric. Cause I think that's kind of important. Um, I'm just, so this isn't on, but this doesn't seem too bad. try this one this one is moving the fabric and I'm not putting pressure on it now of course if you're doing seams you're probably holding it down and um, doing that type of thing 
Well, it still doesn't seem to work well. But some people use this and like it. So, you know, it's whatever you like and do. Um, I think this one actually has a little smoother, but I don't think it gets hot enough to do seams on clothing. And then this one has an extra coating on it, more than the Easy Press 2. They added more, uh, I'm not sure if it's Teflon or ceramic or something that this is coated with. It has extra stuff on it, so you can slide it. You can even slide it when you're doing infusible ink. Now, when you have the bigger Easy Press, they say not to move it. This one is made to be moved. It is very smooth. Once you get it and touch it, you'll know. And I mean, you can't feel it through the video. Oh, can you see how shiny that is? I don't know if you can see the difference in the video. But this one is made to do fabric and seams and quilting and infusible ink and iron on on hats and shoes and everything else. Okay, now my next, I have a list of things. I'm comparing the three. My next one is not important to everybody. I do say that, I know it's not important to some people, but for me and most of my subscribers, it's important. And so, it's cuteness. Can, can, we, can we compare these on cuteness? I'm just going to let you guys decide. Tell me what you think is the cutest one. Or if it doesn't matter, just say doesn't matter. This is the red, blue, and cricket. What do you think is the cutest? I, I, this... If you watched my unboxing video, you know I think this is the cutest. I actually uh, was working on a file to add eyes and teeth to this because when I look at this, I see a little monster with a mouth open and it's cute. I like to have cute things in my craft room. Maybe it doesn't matter to you. It doesn't matter to a lot of people. I like little toys and little cute things, so that's what I like. Okay. It, I think hands down this is the cutest. I don't think you can call these cute. Um, and did I, oh yeah, we did talk about this thing in here. Okay. Now let's talk about packaging. The frustrating stuff, I have to say. For me it is. Maybe you love this stuff. But it's frustrating to open. When I was opening this yesterday, I was like, oh, I, I don't like it. I, I don't know. I guess they like it so you can see the product and maybe it's cheap packaging. I don't know. I don't like the packaging. Who loves this packaging? Do you guys like it? Now, it doesn't matter because you open it and throw this away, right? It's not a big deal, but it's always frustrating for me to open it and I don't like frustrating things. Yeah, it's really hard to open. Now, if you missed my unboxing video for the Cricut Easy Press, and I wanna say this comes in that same packaging, that plastic packaging. Um, the Easy Press comes with this awesome box and you can store it in this box. I'm not gonna go over the whole entire box right now, but I will show you how easy it is to open. Uh, there's tape right here. I showed you in that video if you missed it. There's tape right here and tape right here. And it opens up like this. And this sits here and this sits here. And it's just, it. you open it and you get excited. Opening this was not exciting at all. It was frustrating. I like good vibes. And so I, I like things that make me happy. And if you watch that video, I really never opened the box until that video. You saw my reaction. And then uh, you lift this up and there's more safety instructions here. Don't forget those. And there's also a paper here. And that's, that's all that was in the box. 
But if I want to, okay, I'm not going to store this away. It's going to sit on my desk and I'm going to put little eyes and make it cute, even cuter. Um, but if you wanted to, if you don't have a lot of space, you can store it away in the nice box. And it makes you excited and happy to open it. It's the little things in life, right? That's what I like. Okay. Now let's get started. Now I do not want to plug. I had these two plugged in yesterday. I did them at the exact same time because I didn't have this one yet. I just went and purchased this yesterday. Um, but I'm afraid this one does go up to 400 degrees. So does this one. Uh, so I don't want to plug these in at the exact same time. So we're going to do one at a time. I also want to um, talk about this one has auto shut off. These do not. At least it doesn't say in the packaging. I did not notice if these have auto shut off or not. This one doesn't even have a button. There's no button on this. You plug it in or you unplug it. There's no button. Now, gratefully, we can unplug it from here so I don't have to go to the cord to plug it in or to unplug it to turn it off. You would just unplug it from here. This thing is for. And you can also see that the heat does not go to the edge of the plate and it doesn't go to the edge of this plate either because you can see right underneath it. This one does have edge to edge, edge heating coils. I can't show them to you unless I were to break this and open it up, but I'm not doing that. I also want you to know, I wouldn't even plan on opening this yet. But I needed it because I made a mistake and that's in my opening video of me fixing that mistake. And I was just so grateful that I had this to fix that mistake. So this isn't something you always want to buy because you want to do a project with it. It might be really good just to have. And this will be available September 6th. These are available right now on Amazon. Do we have any questions so far? Okay, I'm not seeing any questions. Okay. Um, which one, did I show you guys this? I don't think we did. So this is what I did yesterday. This is the two minute one. This was this one. And this is what was left of this one. And then this was from this one. And then we have this, it's not that one, it's this one. And this one, you don't know when it's ready. I'm going to go ahead and plug this one in. This one beeps. It doesn't, the lights don't change on it though. It does have a light when it's plugged in. And then it has a little setting here and it has four settings. Uh, and you change the settings by going up and down and then it has a button for on and off. The Cricut one has only one button. One, it's not plugged in. One button will turn it on and then you go up to, it'll be on and low. And then you hit it until you get to the third light and it is red. And then when it's ready, it'll turn green and beep. Okay, let's do the cord on this one. Okay. And somebody told me this little one has to be plugged in a really long time. And I did have this plugged in for 15 minutes before I did this one. So this was heating up for 15 minutes before I even did this one. So I think this, whoops, I think this one 
takes the longest time. And see, I don't like all these cords. I'm gonna set this up here. And let's go ahead and do this one. And oh, you can see that this one is on because there is a little light in here. This looks like a little iron a child can make with a kit. You know, those electrical little kit robot things. Okay, now I'm gonna plug this one in. Okay, it beeped when I plugged it in and it shows it's plugged in. I'm gonna turn it on. Well, there. I have to really press it hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it all the way up and set this to the side. And it see the problem with the long cords, and then this falls over. Okay, we're gonna. The cricket one is not turned on yet. So just sit there. Okay, let's let's move this over here. Let's get the shirt ready. So you guys, I'm not gonna waste a shirt to do the sample. So this is the shirt I got before. I've done videos with this shirt. See that? This was a coaster we did double time on it. And so, you know what? I'm gonna just do it on the front of this shirt. Hello, Ashish. Ashish is the CEO of Cricut. Thanks for coming in. Oh, and this is by Doris. I haven't seen the CEO of him before. And this is Dritz, I think is the name of it. Dritz. Okay, we're gonna prepare this. I don't care if this is on straight or anything. First to prepare this, I'm going to use butcher paper. Oh, and I gotta heat it up. Hmm. I don't have my Cricut Easy Press on. I guess I'll, wait, first we have to roll it. Okay, this is a, what's this called? Flint roller. <laughs> you wanna make sure you use a lint roller before using infusible ink. And you know what? I'm just getting in the habit of using it before I do any iron on. Because you don't wanna iron on top of lint and dust. See, look at all that that came off of the shirt. I should probably do it with another cleaning liquid. Okay. Okay. Um, and we want to put a piece of paper inside. Oh, did you guys hear that beep? This one beeped, but the light doesn't change. So if I didn't hear that, I wouldn't be sure if it beeped. So I'm putting a piece of cardstock. This is just any old white cardstock. You want to use white. And we're going to put it inside the shirt so nothing leaks to the other side. And then you have to pre-press this with, I don't, this one's nice and big. I, I don't know if it's hot enough. I 
don't know if it gets hot enough. You want to use butcher paper on the shirt to, because butcher paper absorbs the moisture. Parchment paper won't absorb the moisture. Wax paper will leave wax on your shirt. So you want butcher paper. Butcher paper comes in every single box of an infusible ink. It doesn't feel that hot. See, you guys can't see this, but I, it kept falling. It won't, there it goes. Okay. I'm trying to preheat it. This is butcher paper that I've reused many times because it doesn't have any ink on it. If I were to get infusible ink on it, I wouldn't use it again. It's gonna take a long time to, and this is hot enough. It's on level four. Well, I mean, it's as hot as it gets. The beep went off to tell me it's hot. And every time you set this down, you have to flip this back. Okay. So now I store, I'm going to use the rest of this piece. You get a 12 by 12 sheet of black in here. It comes with that beautiful white. Oh, flowered one. I love that one. I actually haven't used it yet. I'm excited to use it. And then this is the solid black piece. And what I'm going to do is we're going to just put this down. We didn't cut this on the Cricut or anything. Uh, it won't put more on there than what we iron on. I am going to use heat transfer or heat resistant tape by Cricut. And I'm just going to tape this on here for now. You can reuse the tape. I'm going to put some more tape on here. This is my tape dispenser. I bought on Amazon for $12, but you can buy them at the Dollar Tree for $1. I didn't know that until after I ordered it from Amazon. And you don't usually have to tape this down, but I didn't cut this on the Cricut, so there's no stickiness. This has stickiness underneath it, but. Okay, I think that's taped down enough. I'm gonna cover this with butcher paper. Oh, and uh, my guidelines say to do it for 75 seconds with light pressure. So I'm going to have Alexa. So if you guys get a timer set at your house, I'm really sorry. Um, I got to work out these cords here. Okay. So I got to close this thing. And I can't, there you go. Okay, and, okay, put them right here. Okay, Alexa, set a timer for 75 seconds. One minute and 15 seconds, starting now. Okay. So I think I'm doing this with light pressure. I can read your comments. I got 52 seconds. Sorry for setting your uh, Amazons off. I'm going to say Amazon, so it's not that name. Okay, 20 seconds left. T 
10 seconds. I'm not sure how long it took to um, Alexa stop. I'm not sure how long it took these to heat up. Okay, now I have to set this one down and I have to push this down. Alexa, stop before I can set it down. Move this off. Oh, I didn't do a very good job on that one or that one. Now remember when I did this other one like this, I didn't hold it down at all and I did two minutes. So maybe if you have that one, maybe if you leave it on for like five minutes, maybe? I don't know. Huh. I don't know what happened. Okay. I really don't. I really expected a lot more from that. Um, now I'm going to unplug this one and I'm going to plug in the, I don't want these plugged in at the same time because it's plugged into my lights and my computer and everything else. So I want to unplug this. It still uses a light even though it's plugged in and not on. I'm going to take that out. So I assume I did not let this heat up enough. It heated up long, I plugged this one in first. So if you have that one and you want to use it for, I think, anything, you might need it plugged in a long time. Okay. I'm going to plug in. The, okay. Um, so this isn't even on yet. There's no lights on it, so it's not using any electricity, even though it's on. So if you turn it on, it's... a orange light and then you do it again and you got the second one if you're doing iron-on or HTV or things like that you want it on the second one but today we're doing infusible ink I want it on the third one and you guys on September 6th this is going to be in the Cricut interactive easy uh, heat setting guide so you'll be able to choose the easy press one the original or the easy press two or this and it tells you how hot to put it how hot to put all the settings on what material because every material is different and if you're using glitter iron-on or foil iron-on you have different settings for that and Cricut made it really easy for that um, these it doesn't really give you much instructions on that part <clears throat> so I'm gonna let it sit here I'm gonna put this on so I don't forget And uh, somebody's saying they have the Easy Press. What's the difference of the Easy Press and the Easy Press 2? The Easy Press 2, they added more heating coils, so it's even more even heat, and it's the whole bottom plate is just covered edge to edge with heating, and it goes much hotter. So the Easy Press 2 will go up to 400 degrees. The Easy original Easy Press, I think. It goes up to 360. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it's only 360. And for infusible ink and sublimation and things, you really need it to go hotter. You don't need a lot of pressure, though, on anything. On using the Easy Press, on iron on, or infusible ink. Oh, it's ready. That was really fast. So now you know it's ready. All the lights turned green. Okay. Alexa, set a timer for 75 seconds. One minute and 15 seconds, starting now. So I'm just gonna, I'm not putting a lot of pressure. Oh yeah, and the Easy Press 2 also has a port where you can update it. You can update the firmware. Yep, 
Yeah, this one will be um, on Cricut.com September 6th. I think it will also be at Michael's and Joanne's, possibly Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure about HSN. I'm sure it'll be on HSN sometime. Oh, I'm so sorry, Colleen. I set two timers in her house. We got 20 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Alexa, stop. Okay. Wow. You guys, I, you guys just look for yourself. I really expected this to be at least that one. This was two minutes, but this was the preferred time for the um, easy press. And I expected this to do more too because it did yesterday. So I guess it's not consistent that, and it's maybe because of the way you have to hold this, that it's hard to know if you're getting even heating. And you know, you guys are all welcome to do your own settings or your own testing. Um, how do you know when the Easy Press needs updating? You go update it right now. Uh, there is a firmware update that you can do. So from this, is there anything I could do to compare them better? Let me know. And which one would you prefer to spend your money on? This red one, which is this one. The blue one is here this one or the Cricut one here. I'm really shocked at this one. I really thought I was like nervous too. I, uh, I'm nervous before every single live video. All right, you guys let me know in the comments, if you're watching the replay, which one you prefer. And if you have any questions about the Easy Press, we're gonna do some more. Uh, so we have Thursday Night Live, 8 p.m., and I think I'm going to try the Easy Press on this shoe with the new Mosaic Sparkle Iron-On Mosaic. I want to cover the entire shoe. I've never done a shoe. I'm not going to do it ahead of time. I'm not practicing. I think my videos are not all tutorials. Design Space tutorials, yes, on Saturday mornings, but my other videos are kind of like, let's just craft, see what happens. I'm going to attempt to cover the shoe with the Mosaic Sparkle Iron-On, the entire shoe. We're going to see how that works. I'm not even going to cut it with the Cricut because I was trying, like, oh my gosh, I can't get these settings perfect. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to wing it. I'm just going to do it. We're going to see what happens. So that's 8 p.m. Thursday night. Um... Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. Oh, don't forget, I'm giving away a Cricut Maker this month, possibly this week. It's going to be in one of my live videos this month, and you have to be live in order to watch. No, you don't. You have to be live in order to enter and win. So it will be entering and winning in one of my videos this month. Uh, you can always watch the replay, but you can't enter after the replay. I do have a giveaway of some magical materials. I call it magical materials because it's the dragon uh, vinyl. It's kind of like mosaic, but it's like scales and the mermaid, which is the same scales, just a purplish color. And some other new products from Cricut. There's a bundle. Oh, I wish these people would stop calling me. Um... There's a bundle and you have to be in my Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane Facebook group to enter. It's in the announcements on how to enter. So you only have four more days to enter that. Four or five. I can't remember the 24th or 26th. So um, 
go enter that. It's about $100 worth of stuff. And make sure you subscribe and click that bell because you don't want to miss entering for that uh, maker giveaway. I do giveaways also every Saturday morning in my Cricut Design Space videos, totally sponsored by me. I do a giveaway. Somebody this last week just won the Wisteria Cricut guy. I don't have it because we sent it off yesterday, but like this one, this is the new cobalt, but the wisteria one, I actually gave two of them away in that video. Um, do projects for party foil. Uh, yeah, I could do some projects for party foil. I have done some projects for party foil. Uh, last year I did a banner for 4th of July, but I can do more. Party foil is awesome. You can also emboss it in like your cuddle bug or embossing machine. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining. Uh, share this video with your friends and I will see you Thursday night live and we're gonna attempt, it could be a big fail. I've never done a shoe. We're gonna try it, it'll be fun. All right guys, I love you and I will see you Thursday night. Bye.